welcome to sort of a different video than I've done before. Um, this video, I'll show how to build a secure portal room for securing your portals. The basic design of this room that I'll say right now is not mine. The idea of a tunnel with a portal on the left and the right and in front, another tunnel, that kind of thing. Not my design. Nor is the idea of using the half blocks with the pistons. It's no, that's not mine. What's mine is the actual wiring underneath. Um, the design I'm crediting to Archmage Melon in his Minecraft Let's Play Season Two, Episode Twenty Four. I simply liked the design and decided to see how such a design would be wired with six pistons as opposed to the four used in his video. So yeah, the um, it was actually quite fun. I enjoy this kind of designing. Anyway, so it's got this little loop. The lever triggers the redstone here. And then the loop is only loop because with this block here it no longer is a loop. And it comes over this way goes up there and it splits and that wire goes up to the top piston and the middle piston this wire comes over to the bottom piston and on the other side it's much the same thing the wire comes from over there and then loops around and goes to the top piston medium piston yeah Not exactly sure precisely how it works, but I know it does. As you can see, the redstone barely has enough power, but it does have enough power to do it. The other side is much the same. It uh, has the same basic loop as the glowstone side. And then it comes along, and then only having to do two pistons, it's a lot easier. It just goes to the two pistons with pretty much the same thing on this side. And you can see the loop down there. So, all in all, it creates a very nice and secure portal room. The uh, the levers can actually be moved a bit. For example, you could put the levers here. That works. Or here, or here, I think that's yeah. Um, you can't put them any higher because it doesn't work that well. Um, one side thing you can do if you don't have that kind of redstone is by putting a piece of redstone here and then putting a lever on this block, you can activate just the pistons on that side. And this is not activating any of the other redstone wiring, as, as you can see. It's its own little circuit. But what this does is it enables you to have maybe two levers, one on either side to control, but it also, which is more cumbersome, but it also has a much lower cost in terms of the redstone required. It took approximately a full stack of redstone to build the entire um, side build and talk at the same time. <laughs> it took approximately an entire stack of redstone to build the entire gatehouse. There we go. <laughs> both sides. That said, if you only use six pistons, if you use six pistons on both sides or four pistons on both sides, then that cost would change a bit. Also, during the design process, I went to make sh I went to great lengths to make sure it was very compact. You'll notice it's no wider than the portals themselves, and it's no higher, really, than the portals themselves. I also tried to make it so that it wasn't too much lower than the pistons, than the portals themselves. Obviously, it's underneath them, but mostly it's to the side of the pistons, because obviously, if this is going to be incorporated into an existing base, as was my intention then it's going to need to be very compact. 
I also avoided the use of redstone repeaters. For example, I could have made this more compact by putting a redstone repeater right here, breaking this wire, this would have worked as well. Problem is redstone repeaters, no matter if they're, if they're, um, redstone repeaters simply add delay to the circuit and that is unavoidable. And so as a result, I put the levers in such a spot so that by the time the redstone gets to the pistons, it hasn't run out of power yet. So, so yeah, I'm quite pleased with my design. It, uh, I think it works quite well. So yeah, see you next time.